you know what i deserve dessert welcome to cami did this and today i want to talk to you about dessert so dessert is a new music video that just came out i feel like all the bangers they're rolling in at the moment because you know you got maria you have like how you like that you have so me who just came out with like her new debut single and honestly if you want to see a review for that i did it on my channel so please check it out but you know is dessert taking the cake because it's like i bruv like fam I, like this music video is just so amazing and it's just a banger this is like a club banger this is like the song that makes you wish that clubs were still open but they're not and if they are but they're not supposed to be please don't go like covid come on like let's 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 not you know prolong this pandemic but anyways let me get into this like video review thing that i i have i have for you today i want to you know i want to give you my honors review like on this is not a first time reaction this is like a song that i've been playing on repeat on repeat on repeat the song just makes me feel so powerful and you know it's like a jamaican you listen to this song and it's like mm, dessert good girl to get things and like you know in in proper queen's english that means good girls deserve good things <laughs> Yeah, so good girl forget things and you know i i haven't really looked at the lyrics or anything like i actually have but like i don't really get them but like this song is just so catchy and it just makes me feel so powerful so it's like why why do i care about the lyrics like i'm just here for the music anyways um, so let me start the video here we go I'm gonna stop it right there because okay so in this video the first thing that i noticed about it was this kind of brazilian funk um influence and it's like i i love brazilian funk i love that like, it's on i love uh, like I'm a huge dancehall fan and like I watched um you know the behind the scenes videos and like one of them was talking about how um Mumbaton is like the kind of style that they used in this video and if you know anything about Mumbaton you know that um this is like a genre that gets influenced from dance hall reggae so you get in jamaican influence and you get reggaeton you get brazilian funk which is like um the like latin influences and then you have like the house and like dutch and i think those are the more like electronic um aspects to the genre that like come together and just like make make all these bangers also like you know i feel like when you watch these videos it's like the visuals are always expected to be good so it's like like the visuals in this video are just great they're really good <laughs> So, I'm just stopping because it's like, there's a lot of things that I noticed from this video. And I find it very interesting because it's like, we're seeing like a lot more like, um, like, you know, you could just say like Mumbaton influences. But like, I'm seeing a lot more of like this specific dance move being used in K-pop. And I remember like BTS, um, like they were the first K-pop group that I saw using it um and i remember bts talking about how it was like african inspired like j like i don't have the knowledge on the specific 
specificity the specificity of like which country um like the dance move originates from because you know we know africa is not a country it's a continent you know it has multiple different cultures and languages and stuff but yeah um i'm not sure about like um the anyways like i, I like i noticed that this is like a, a trend and it's like i feel like k-pop is gonna start getting into um the afro beats it's like i noticed that beyonce is also starting to like use a lot more like afro beats um genre in her music like especially with like black is king coming out i know that the visuals are going to be amazing and i feel like a lot more people are going to be inspired by like the genre of like afro beats um and like these are the kind of dance moves that are like typically involved in like afro beats music and you know so we're, we're gonna i feel like we're gonna see like you know the the influence of afro beats in k-pop which i don't necessarily see as a bad thing i you know like you know <laughs> you know if we're all respecting each other as people then like it is good and we're all like paying homage to like the original creators then 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 it's all good you know like we can all shake hands as long as we respect each other and you know it's like like if mm, anyways <laughs> I don't know I'm clapping my hand. You know what I forgot to mention is like you know the last time I felt in spot like i felt like the same vibes from a song it was probably like some other k-pop song but like in terms of like other like genres it was probably like um rdx when he did that major laser um collaboration <laughs> and they made this song called lose yourself and it was just like so like the vibes was there man like honestly go check out that like rdx lose yourself song because like i don't know it like same vibes same vibes you know but gotta big up gotta big up the the home country <laughs> And also, can I just say that they're like all they're genuinely like nailing like all the dance moves. It's like I, I can genuinely I can feel the energy in the dance. And it's like it's it's a upbeat sort of song. It's like I feel like if you finish completing this whole thing, you probably lost a couple pounds. Like this this song is just this song is just exercise. That is what this song this song is exercise. And then after you get dessert i'm so funny i know i know i know i know <laughs> that's why you're gonna subscribe <laughs> This is a part that genuinely makes that just screams like reggaeton Brazilian funk vibes to me. Like this is the part where I'm just like, mm, you know. But you know, it'd be really, really cool if like there was a remix done with like J Balvin or like you know some Latina artist. Um, you know, like I feel like that would be just hella, hella vibes, yo. Like. Because, you know, it's like, I feel like this is a genre that um, 
it's like used but it has like i feel like this is like the purest form of like this genre that i've seen used in like a k-pop um in the k-pop genre so it's like i feel like uh there could pop like after this this song like it, it, there's going to be more brazilian funk songs and it'd be really cool to see like collaborations with um with like reggaeton artists who already use like um reggaeton and like you know the genre already or like yo my dream is like k-pop and and dance hall to make us to make a song um i can't like i genuinely can't imagine like spice making like a k-pop song but i feel like if she did it would just like blow everybody away <laughs> like to me like spice is like the queen of dance hall and it's like dance hall and k-pop are kind of two different they they work together like in terms of like the sound like you know you can tell from this this um this genre like this the song that like there's definitely like dance hall influences like especially and latin influences but <laughs> if spice <clears throat> y'all some of y'all don't know spice but if spice made a k-pop music video i'm talking directly to like the jamaican k-pop fans like if spice made a music video with k-pop stars we would all watch that because it would be like mm, i'm waiting i am waiting i am waiting <laughs> You know what I deserve? Dessert. <laughs> you know what I deserve? Dessert. The song deserves everything. Like this song forget things it's so good and yeah this is my review subscribe for more reaction videos and more commentary from cami because cami did it cami made this this commentary music video on this music video <laughs> and i like thank you for like joining me while um reviewing this music video i hope you come back i hope you subscribe i hope you check out some of my other videos i made um i made a red velvet song in pato like just just for shits like so check it out yeah like i want i want to hear your opinions on that i i know i'm not the best singer but like I've been told that like I'm I'm pretty good that I'm okay so I thought it was okay to to upload it on the web. Let me know your thoughts and yeah I will I will see you next time. This is Cami did it signing off. <laughs>